and thanks for putting this forum on. Uh, being on the uh, Senate uh, task force on heroin and opioid abuse for the past three years uh, that I've been on uh, has been very enlightening. Uh, been all over the state with the task force. Uh, for Hornell is a community no different than, than most every other community uh, in the state. Uh, we have a heroin uh, and opioid uh, addiction problem here, uh, as everywhere else does. Uh, it's a suburban problem, it's a rural problem, uh, uh, more so than it is an urban problem. Uh, we have seen a lot, and it, and it takes um, you know, a whole community effort to make any impact on this whatsoever. And, and it's really uh, uh, heartwarming to see how many people have turned out here today uh, to partake in this. Uh, knowing what a concern it is to uh, your community uh, and wanting to be involved. We've got to attack this uh, at all levels. Uh, as the chief says, uh, you know, we're not going to be able to uh, uh, arrest, prosecute, and jail our way out of this drug problem. We've been in these drug wars forever with very little uh, traction or, or meaningful dent in them. Uh, but heroin and opioids are so addictive compared to the other drugs that are out there. Uh, it's a much tougher situation to deal with, and we need to deal with it uh, on all levels uh, of the community, uh, from not-for-profits to treatment providers to community groups to law enforcement uh, and government uh, and our health care system. Uh, last year, uh, in the state budget recognizing this, we got about $190, $190 million uh, in the budget for a variety of uh, uh, treatment, um, detoxification uh, centers uh, and opening up beds because of a lack of resources available in all of our communities throughout the state uh, on those available options and treatment options. Uh, that was a step in the right direction. This year that number increased from 190 million to, to close to 215 million dollars. Uh, in this year's budget, uh, 145 million of that is going towards uh, community-based services uh, to take place right in the community, uh, 27 million for state treatment uh, facilities, six million dollars for naloxone kits to distribute uh, throughout communities, and another 25 million of that uh, for counseling uh, services. 